I have an apology to make, but I am still half upset. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here, and we're going to show you what's new, give you some updates at Universal Studios Florida, such as something new in the Wizarding World, but we're going to start here in City Walk, where we can see Universal has started to decorate for the 4th of July. To the left of the Epic Universe Preview Center, more decorations, and it looks like, if I'm reading that correctly, Beat Builders? Perhaps the Beat Builders are performing here for the 4th of July. Here is a little secret of mine. To the left of Ananjitos, right this way, City Walk restrooms that are open all day long, but not used very much until 4 p.m. when Anahito opens. And I expect them to stay that way, even though I just gave away my secret. The old Cinnabon and the old Quiet Flight store is gone, but Universal is working fast and furiously to get the new store ready. It's as if that construction project is supercharged. Construction walls have been removed from around the Lone Palm Airport bar. Also removed, Hemisphere Dancer, Jimmy Buffett's airplane. When we last checked on that plane, the body of the plane was still there, just the wings were gone. And this is where my apology comes into effect. I thought perhaps Margaritaville was going to take that plane away forever, put it in a different location somewhere else across the country. Uh, but since I released that video, Margaritaville did come out with a statement saying that that plane, Hemisphere Dancer, was just being refurbed and it was going to take about a year to get it back, but it would come back. So my apologies to Margaritaville for getting upset about the plane, but I am still upset about them taking away fins up from the Miami Dolphins organization. So while I do apologize for one thing, I'm still upset about the other. The Hard Rock Cafe still undergoing its repaint job. Inside of the Universal Studios store in City Walk, they have a Wizarding Dad t-shirt for $27. And a free Dobby t-shirt. I've shown this before, but I wanted to show it again because now the price is just $18. And there is a new banner before we step into the theme park. A DreamWorks Land banner. More fun ogre here. I now wonder if this rigging is for Halloween Horror Nights, which starts next month, by the way, or if it's for the 4th of July. That's right, you heard me correctly. Halloween Horror Nights starts next month. It is so hot today, they are starting the snow cones first thing in the morning. Let's make our way to the Wizarding World, which is offering something new. The Five and Dime has new Ghostbusters Haunted House merchandise, but I already showed you that in the last Buy This or Maybe That merch video. Still waiting on a new savory crepe. The only one offered right now is that Chop Tripletta, but we want something new. It's a pretty hot day and look at those flags, barely moving. No breeze at all. More details keep getting added to the DreamWorks Imagination Cafe, though still not quite done. I'm surprised they, uh, they opened it up without having the, uh, the whole thing completed. You can see there the main part of the logo, that crescent moon, is just sketched in right now. Into SpongeBob store pants right now, but not to show you merchandise. Just to sit right here in air conditioning for like five minutes. It's not the most comfortable chair, but I am in air conditioning now. And as I sit here and rest, could you do me a favor? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button. The ET wait time signboard, ever so close to being completed. It has added a screen, but still not done. It's not operational yet. Here in DreamWorks land, it is the hour of meet and greets. We got Gabby over there, King Julian over there. Across the way, it's Shrek. Just Shrek. 
No Fiona and no Donkey. Come on, man. Donkey's been gone forever. Let's have him out every time. No trolls meet and greet at the moment, but if they were doing a meet and greet, they'd be doing it right here. Into Springfield. What's this coming down Fast Food Boulevard? Make way for the beer man. That's for sure. Gotta get the beer there. Now here's something I think I've only mentioned in a live stream. I don't think I've mentioned it in a video yet, but the twirl and hurl right now, Universal is not opening this attraction until noon. At the Krusty Land Midway Games, there she throws. I don't know if I've seen these prizes before. Some parrots, red, green, blue. And the ball toss has a big Bart Simpson head pillow. Inside of the MIB gear shop. I messed around too long and they don't have my size anymore for this t-shirt. You know, my wife Nikki's very wise. She says, if you see something and you want it, buy it right away because it may not be there later. And that is true again, as I procrastinated too much. Maybe they'll restock though. Also in here, this hat for $25 is the hat I'm wearing today. Next month in this stadium, Nightmare Fuel for Halloween Horror Nights 33. I just like saying next month, Halloween Horror Nights. Oh yeah, I promised you a new offering in the Wizarding World. Let me show it to you. Inside of Sugar Plums here in Diagon Alley, but also Honey Dukes in Hogsmeade and other various locations. For $14 individually, or three for $35, new white chocolate frogs. That's right. They now come in the white chocolate variety. Along with dark chocolate and milk chocolate. So that three for 35 works out pretty well now. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate. Escape from Gringotts. One of the most popular rides in the theme park is only a 35 minute wait. I have some very bad and disturbing news in Nocturne Alley. It is so upsetting to me that I'm also going to post about it on my Instagram. Normally I save all the updates for the videos, but this is so disturbing I have to like share the information a little quicker. The Shrunken Heads Magical Wand Spot is actually gone. It has been removed. It's not being revamped. It is gone forever. Right now, just like a, a display window. So they've taken away one of my favorite magical wand spots. I loved it when those shrunken heads would sing, show me the way to go home. An amazing homage to the old attraction here, Jaws. However, they still have not removed the medallion. I saw some kids over here earlier trying to do a magical spell here, and of course it's not gonna work. So the last time we checked on this, we had the black curtain. So we thought maybe just some maintenance, but no, the news is very bad, very disturbing. So long, shrunken heads, we did enjoy you. In San Francisco now, and Streetcar Snacks, still not open, though I did see it open the other day, but I think that was a Saturday. Over here at Shea Alcatraz, we can see a little bit of progress on the remodel. I wonder if Chip and Joanna Gaines is in charge of this. There were construction walls, but they have been removed and we can now see what they've done here. Look at this. New railing. Yes, this is new, this is different. That's what they were doing behind the construction walls. I'm not quite sure if this is new though. I don't know if this is new, but definitely the posts. Those are new. Upon further investigation, I believe this is new, or the very least, refurbed to look like new. 
here in New York City, we can see the beat builders stuff, the scaffolding, their equipment, everything has been removed. But remember, we saw a beat builder barricade there in City Walk. I have not given up. I will never give up. One day we will answer the question, where is Wasserman? Well, right now, Revenge of the Mummy is a longer wait time than Gringotts. Mummy's 45 minutes. There's something I forgot to tell you on Hollywood Boulevard, so let's make our way back towards the horror makeup show. Hey, Kung Fu Panda! Kung Fu Panda! No. Hashtag. Oh, you are the better one. You're the better panda. Music Plaza is all decked out for 4th of July celebrations. I wish I could give you more information about that. However, I haven't seen their plans for the 4th of July. Uh, live music? I don't know. Or will it be a DJ? I don't know. Just show up and find out what they're doing. So I wanted to come here for my next bit of information because this is where I will be hanging out July 3rd for the debuting of the Mega Movie Parade. We think that parade is going to be starting at 6 p.m., we think, depending on weather, I would guess. And uh, I will be live streaming that opening day of that Mega Movie Parade. Make sure you are subscribed and you check that out live. I'll be right here. If you have watched this far and you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Click it. It's gonna be a good day, good day. Make and make you show the way. It's gonna be a good day, good day. Let your worries fade away. It's gonna be a good day.